Tragopan offers a variety of these camo nets and blankets, which can really help you blend into your environment when you're out photographing wildlife. The standard camo nets come in a little pouch, a big ghillie blanket, and the newest addition, the 3D blanket. These are fairly small and very easy just to take with you when you need something in the field to cover up. Now, there are a lot of different varieties and sizes of these camo nets on the website. They range from the smaller 3 by 3 meters to larger 3 by 6 meters and 1.5 to 5 meters. It's important to choose the one that's going to be best suited for what you have in mind. If you're going to use these to cover up a hide even better, we recommend the larger one 3 by 6 to use with the mono. The mono is quite a large hide, so you want to use a larger camo net for it that covers the entire thing. And if you're going for something smaller like a V6, a hockey, or, or even the pop-up hide, then something like this 3x3 three three should be plenty. And if you just want to wrap something around some different trees, the 1.5x5 5 5 meters is very well suited for that. And we'll take a little walk in the forest afterwards. I'll show you guys how we set it up in the field. Then we got the bigger one, Gilly Blanket. Now this is a great one. It's going to be, I mean, this is probably one of the best things for blending in the environment. And it can work in a lot of different environments. This one here is the green version. There's also a beige one on the website. Perfect to either to lie under, to just throw over you, or maybe put up between some trees or something like that, or even use it over an existing hide to offer that better camouflage. Works really well with the floating hide. So easy to attach more bits of vegetation to this and really blend in. Check out this photo where Jonathan has taken out the ghillie blanket and basically covered himself up, and all you can see is just the lens coming out of the blanket. Now, if you want something light to take with you, something that's quite versatile, I recommend something like the 3D blanket or just a smaller cabinet. The good thing about the 3D blanket is that on one side, it's got these kind of, what makes it 3D, these camouflage little bits kind of hanging off it. On the other side, it's smooth. So if you were to use something that's going to hang over you or lie over you like this, it's quite good to have that smooth side over you because then it doesn't catch certain things that you might have on or catch lenses or gear or anything like that. So that can be a really good way to use this. Just throw over yourself. But also, at the edge of a water, you could tie this in between two trees, and lie behind it, and photograph some of the water birds. For the caminets, there's a variety on there, so you best to just check out the website to see which one is going to be best for you. And things you want to take into consideration is the size you need, how big do you need it, how much area do you need to cover, how big a high do you need to cover if that's what you're doing, and then also what color do you want. There's a couple of the caminets that we have on there which actually are very well suited for winter as well. As you can see here, now all the caminets have this cut out oak leaved pattern and on one side you'll usually find a camo pattern such as this one here, which is more of an autumn understory camel pattern. But then on a couple of them, they're made white on the other side. And that's just perfect for coming into winter when we get snowy environments. If you have a hide out then, and your hide is adapted to fit in with green forests or autumn vegetation, there's something like this. Putting something like this around it will really help it blend into those snowy environments. And that means you don't have to spend more money to buy a hide that's completely white. Now we also have some different patterns which have some of them have autumn on one side and then on the other side it's more brown. So it depends what you're going to use it for. Do check them out and figure out which one is going to be best for you. Now though, let's take some of these camo nets out into the field and I'll show you guys the different ways we can use them to get close to wildlife without being seen. I brought with me one of the largest camo nets you can get in the shop. And I thought I would show you guys how we can use this to set up a hide if you don't have one. Maybe you're traveling light and you like to erect a hide, and this is what you got. And we can also use it to give extra camouflage for the hides themselves. Not all the hides will fit into every environment, 
and putting something like this on it will make it even more inconspicuous in the field and it's also easier to attach even more bits of vegetation and things like that to it to really blend in and it depends what kind of species you're working with if you're working with certain species that are very suspicious and skeptical of anything new in the environment you really need to cover it up as much as you can so using something like this can really give it some extra camouflage but first though i'm going to show you how i would use this to set up a temporary hide now it comes in a nicer bag than this i've just used it quite a lot so i've just attached a bit of string around mine just wrap it around three trees and it becomes a very rudimentary hide. Of course this isn't ideal because now there is there are, there are see-through so you might give away shades or anything like that if it's a little bit of brightness behind you depending on where the wildlife is coming from. So the next step from that is actually finding something in the environment that we can use as part of the structure to the hide. At least we have some more camouflage around us that helps us kind of shape the hide and the camouflages in the field. So let's go find something that might help us a little bit more to construct something a little bit more than that and give us even more cover. So this time I'm gonna put up the camo net using this bigger tree here as part of the camouflage. That way hopefully I'll blend a little bit more into the environment. So I'll show you guys how I do that. I'm just going to use this rotten log here to kind of stretch it out a little bit at the bottom. Now in this forest I'd probably photograph deer. There's fallow deer and roe deer here. Something like this could really help me hide in the forest. But now though, having put it up like this, I think it's a lot more camouflage being backed up against that tree. And you probably can't see it at all coming from the back. But I'd still want to cover it up a little bit more with bits of vegetation. So I just take a lot of this kind of dead grass that's around and kind of put it into the holes that's in the camouflage netting here. Now though, I'm going to put up the Mono V2 and I'll show you guys how we can camouflage that even better using the camo net. Put this up between some of these branches. Here. See here each corner has little hooks, a little string and a hook, so you can hang it up quite easy. Now the really good thing about 
camera head up like this. It helps you provide some cover as well. If you leave it up beforehand, you can sneak up here and a little bit of stealth. You might not even be seen as you approach the water. Finally, it is snowed out. But as you can see, it doesn't really suit to have the brown camonet on the hide in this snow. So I brought with me one of the camonets that has got the white bits on the other side. So let's change this around, put this on instead so it blends into this environment and maybe can photograph some deer here in the upcoming weeks. There you have it, the snowy part camo pattern using the white underside of the camo net to blend in the snow. And I have to admit, it's the first time I'm trying this and I think it looks really good. It blends in really well. Assuming the snow stays, I'm going to be trying this out here over the next couple of weeks and hopefully photograph some, some, of the, some of the species that we get in the forest here, such as roe deer, fallow deer, maybe even brown hair. I've seen tracks of brown hair around here as well, so you never know, it could be quite exciting. Anyways, you can get a hold of these different camo nets on, uh, on the website. So if you're in US or Canada, it's photographyblinds.com. For Europe and the rest of the world, it is tragopan-shop.com. So be sure to check it out and see what's available. Uh, use this kind of guide that we ran over here to figure out which one is going to be best suited for you. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of these videos where I take Tragopan products out into the field for some wildlife photography and a bit of a guide for setting up and how to use them. I'll catch you guys next month.